All right, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Taylor Brooks of the Show Series. Here, it'll be 23 PS5 episode. Hmm. I think it's 246. We absolutely smoked the uh, Rays in the last one. Freaking DJ Rolls, player of the game. Um, <laughs> and we've, uh, sorry, I'm eating a Hershey kiss. But we basically scared our spot in the playoffs. We've got two more starts on the year. This one against the Minnesota Twins. Um, they are not a good team anymore. Uh, Lodolo's not playing that good. Uh, yeah, okay, bad bullpen. Makes sense so far, and a ah, Correa is still a 95. Possible Hall of Famer there. Probably a Hall of Famer. Yeah, this isn't a great lineup. All right, let's do it. Right now, we lead the uh, East by six and a half games, a magic number of six. Let's go get some dubs today. Beautiful. 2-0 and oh already, and we will add a uh, curveball control. 4-0 oh in the episode. We are on fire. The whole team's hitting well, except James Wood. Uh, let's get out here. And Stevens is back behind the plate. It will not be DJ rolls today. And we are at home looking for win number 93. This team is absolutely rolling. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Showing the slab in today's game, Taylor Brooks. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Taylor has had the best season of his MLB career. And he's looking to continue that today. Neil Page leads us off. That's a strike, Blue. We have not lost a game in a while. Looking for win number 20 on the year. That is fouled off. Going up and in, Cutter. Goodbye, Neil. Well, in terms of innings, Taylor has thrown uh, more innings than he ever has this year. At 232, we will pass our record of 236 this game. We will pass our strikeout record if we get two more Ks, or three more Ks. Um, and yeah, it's just by far been his best season. And also... This is Taylor's first. Oh no, he had a 21 season back in 27. So, looking to clear that number. That is a dot. Two O's at the top, and we're almost half of Mario. That's how good Taylor's been. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. And that's in for a strike. Sorry. A little quiet there for a while. I was just coughing my brains out. That's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was starting to get a little bit worried. Carlos Correa. But we're good. First pitch just misses. Correa is still playing great baseball. Baseball. He's been raking in recent games and a big Not timing my pitches great. Getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Two down now, two down. Pitch misses. Ball three. Three one. That one is wow, alright, well that one's getting out for sure. And that one's gone. 
first run that Taylor has given up in a long time. All right, one nothing. So locked in right now, Boog, and clearly it's not like he's just stringing singles together during this streak. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Oh, two to Miranda. Goodbye. Nope. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and fires. Pitch misses. Oh. It's a ball and two strikes. One, two to Miranda. He Swing went middle of the first. Slider got him for strike three. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's All right, let's have a better inning, inning here. Gave up the solo shot in the first. That misses. One and oh. Control feels all over the place. Don't know what's going on there. There's the strike. Uh, smooth cutter up and in. Nah. That's a good pitch, though. Glider Figaro. And now the count is even. Will not swing the bat. Good change up. There's another K. And next for Minnesota, Fernando Corona. And fouled off. One day yeah, probably gonna buzz Taylor's head next year. Swing and a miss. I wonder if they're sitting off speed though. And down on Good cutter, two down. Now two away. So two down now, and here is Amauri Valenzuela. There's a strike. Oh and one. Good eye on that spot. Let's find the zone here. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The wind of the pitch. One, two. Ugh. Two, two. That Ugh. And it's a full count. Can't get the boy to swing his bat. Swing it on Mowry. Thank you. Goodbye. Middle of the second. We are tied. James Wood, who's been the cold one, goes deep. And we are all knotted up at one here, heading into the third. Can't get first pitch strikes right now. But that one's in there. Nicky Lopez dives, but Connor Scott just inside out swings one in the left. Robbie Hollander. Doesn't look very good. Should be down on strikes. Goodbye. Oh, it's a foul ball. And he grabs it in foul ground. Now he's down on strikes. Thank you. One down. It becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that Somehow, it might be playable for Freilich. It is! Great play. Two down. Want to get this out before we see Correa this inning. We're not getting the calls today. Wisconsin. And a pitch. And that's mm. offside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of odd right scenario here. here for Taylor. This is three pitches that should have been strikes. Three one. 
down the pipe. It is playable, maybe. Melton gets there, middle of the third. Yeah, the blue, the umpire is not a fan of Taylor today. He has been rough on him. Taylor just doesn't have his control. Hey, 2-2 two, two to Correa. It's a slider. He got him. One down. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to. No homer that time. Miranda. The batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. I don't know why they have Miranda hitting in the four hole. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Disgusting slider. Two down. He's Glider, Glider Figaro. Hey, he did. Thank you, Rusty. And we'll beat him with a cutter. Great fourth inning as we get three straight outs. As Wood chases that one down. Two Ks and a fly out. Two on, but we do not score. Back now at Oriole Park. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now for the twins, Fernando Corona. And a foul ball. Got to get it to translate in the postseason. Righty to the play. Taylor will not be denied this year. Good play, Fawn. And there is an E6. And that's actually the first time he's been in air with us behind him. You'd figure there'd be more. Well, a rough way to start, but Vaughn is there for that one. One down. So I'm worried Venezuela. 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 Lines out there. Yeah, Fernando Corona can run. We get that call, though. How odd. Oof. I knew as soon as I threw that, that was a bad pitch. And he smokes it foul. Good changeup. Two down. So digging in, Robbie Hollander. Ah, shoot. First offering misses the mark. Shoot, he's gonna try it with no at or with two down. It's a good throw. He got him. A little wide to the right, but it's a strong throw from Melton, and he guns him. We're still tied here in the fifth. We are no longer tied. So a couple guys come through for some hits, and it's 4-1 to one Orioles. And Taylor is on his way to win number 20. Great cutter. I trust you, Vaughn. To first. Makes that play, so one down. Deceptive slider right there stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. That's a hit, though. And that's a base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Just going to give him a fastball, then cut it to the slider. Ah, the fastball due for him. Two down. 
strike three. Pretty electric Let's find a first pitch strike here, Taylor. There you go. Double-digit strikeouts. He should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And there not many of these hitters that have much of an answer oh, to what he's offering out there. It really looks like these hitters have... And Miranda will go down on strikes as well. Taylor's got the strikeout pitch working. Keeps this a 4-1 to one game. And the Orioles are rolling. How many Ks are we at today? I think 10 maybe? 11 through 6. That's insane. But that's hit well. Deep right. Freilich is there. Has it right in the corner. One down. Oh, Nicky. An ugly looking attempt there to play that one. That's a single down the line, apparently. Am I crazy? Was this not an easier play? Ah, it wasn't easy, but he didn't have a chance on the slide, for sure. That's smoked. Jacob Melton's there. He's been good in the field today. He even grabbed himself an outfield assist. Now Taylor's not striking anybody out, getting the quick outs. And the righty deals. That's in there. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but you're not getting a hanging slider again. That's a pitch. Make the pitch this time, Taylor. Great pitch. End of the seventh for the Twins, and let's go hit. Maybe get another run in there. No. All right. We go to the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Robbie Hollander. There's a strike. So far, oh, this one. guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. I have no faith that Robbie Hollander's getting a hit. He is one for two. I didn't even know he got a hit. That's a good take. Got him swinging. One down. Usually when you see Looking good. Misses, Get at least one that you might be able to do something. Ah, with. They didn't exactly challenge him in any way right there, and no, really, they just ball. used his aggressiveness against him. I don't think he even got a pitch in the zone. No, that's a good point, Siggy. He goes down. On Popped up. Freilich is chasing. Was actually not going to get there. The, the one-one. Swing and a miss one, as he two. was late that time. One two to Neil Page. It's right on the side. ground. Six still has it. You can take it yourself, sir. Two down. The bag. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Two out, space is empty. Gavin Lux will hit next. First pitch oh. doesn't find the zone. 1 0. He was late there. One ball, strike one. Strike. Wind up and throw that one by him. 1 1. Popped up. Great outing for Taylor. We will see if Coach will entrust him with the ninth. I don't mind if he does. Don't mind if he doesn't. I think we'll be fine either way. Especially now that it's 6-1. to one. And uh, they'll go to Ronald Bolanos. Who gives up a run, but that is it. And it is a 6-2 final. Orioles have won six in a row. And have cemented themselves as the top AL team for the second time in three years. Taylor's 20 and 4. Well, we're not exactly the top AL team, but we are very close. Like, we are up there. I'm pretty sure we are right now. Like, we have a good chance at 8 innings, 5 hits, none earned, or no walks, 1 earned, and 13 Ks. Good day from Wood. Melton had a 2 RBI day. Stevenson as well. Nicky Lopez got in on there. Good job, O's. All right, well, I don't have too much more. Uh, to really talk about today. I do want to check the standings after a mm, so good 5-0 and episode. We have clinched the AL East uh, pretty easily. Blue Jays, Yankees, and Red Sox 
and Rays all sitting there on the wild card race. It's super close right now. Um, right now it's Yankees or Blue Jays, Yankees, then Mariners. But the Guardians and Red Sox are only a half game out a piece. Astros and Rays one and a half. Uh, yeah, we have the uh, we're good on the highest seed, or at least being one of the two. We're also the 30th ranked team. That's whack, but it is what it is. Um, anyways, our next start will be our last start of the 2029 season, uh, where Taylor will take on the Toronto Blue Jays, uh, looking to finish this thing off, um, the right way with a, maybe a personal best of 21 wins. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Bricks episode 246 in the books.